In this video, I want to give you an idea of what we mean by a bivariate normal distribution. So, very briefly, what is a normal distribution? Okay, so a normal distribution, you may have heard of the bell curve. Normal distribution looks something like this. Uh, it is a symmetrical curve um, and is essentially identifying that the majority of the data is in the middle, whereas uh, less of the data is in either of its end tails. Okay, that's essentially what the normal distribution is describing. So the majority is here, uh, there's less here, there's less here. So, um, for example, it might be the heights of 20-year-olds um, in England, for example. Uh, you would expect the majority to be around some certain height, uh, some mean height in the middle. Uh, whereas there will be some shorter people and there will be some taller people, okay? Now, if we're talking about bivariate normal distribution, um, then we're talking about two sets of variables, both of which are normally distributed. So, essentially, what I want you to imagine is like a, like a 3D graph, if you like. Okay, so I'm going to draw kind of like a plane. And... What I want you to imagine is that this is where your scatter graph is going to go. And you've got one axis going that way and one axis going that way. So the data on this axis is normally distributed. And so we could draw normal distribution for that data there. And this data is also normally distributed. And we could draw normal distribution for that data there. OK, so when we kind of think about uh, where the data would be on your scatter graph, then you would expect the majority to be somewhere in the middle, right? So because that is where the majority of the data is in your normal distribution, where you will also have a few, so some more kind of like towards... The tails, okay, like so, um, and consequently this is where you get your elliptical shape, okay. So if the data is roughly elliptical, um, then you've got uh, evidence to suggest that uh, the data is bivariate normal, which is what you kind of need um, to be think, need to have in order to conduct a PMCC hypothesis test, which is where we'll be going on to later. So this is kind of like what we mean when we're talking about bivariate normal. The two data, the two variables, are coming from themselves uh, normal distributions and are random variables from that normal distribution. Okay. So um, that is the consequence that you get this elliptical shape appearing uh, on your scatter graph.